time to bring you up to speed, if you will, on Chevrolet performance. You already know that Chevrolet is a perennial winner in NASCAR. You know that the Corvette has won Le Mans. But what's that mean to guys like you and me who want to bring that energy, that performance to the street, to, to our own driveways? Well, you got cars like this. This is the Camaro ZL1. Of course, this is the, 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 the monster of the Camaro line, and until the Z28 is on the road, of course. But this is the kind of car that really, I think, captures what Chevrolet performance is about. It's over delivering performance and style and grace. Where I think the Camaro fits in so nicely into this performance trio from Chevrolet is in its overall affordability. I mean, you can start off with a V6, over 300 horsepower Camaro that's gonna give you, you know, really more than anybody really needs on today's uh, busy American roads, and then slowly start to ramp it up, and not at huge cost bumps. You go from uh, the V6 to the SS with 400 plus horsepower V8, then you go to the 1LE, which is a, a race car, tuned for the racetrack, but available to drive on the street. And then of course to the ZL1 with its monster power. This is the all new Chevrolet SS. Now for those of you that remember as I do, the Pontiac GA GXP, guess what babies, it's back. But now done with the Chevy style, the Chevy value, the, the Chevy attitude. For me, the Chevrolet SS really perfect uh, laser focus on what the brand Chevrolet is all about. It's subtle, but yet uh, brash all at the same time. And you can choose how you want to be with it. I mean, right now we're doing some pretty serious canyon carving. My cameraman's doing a fantastic job of holding on tight and uh, you would never know. This is a car that's in the same, same mode or same spirit as uh, the BMW M5, which is obviously a highly revered performance car. But you know, they don't sell many of them but they have them in their line in order to kind of put a shine on the rest of the BMW brand. And I think what's interesting is that this car is going to put a shine on the brand, but it's an affordable car uh, that's gonna rival vehicles that are gonna cost much, maybe twice, three times more. And what Chevrolet performance story would be complete without talking about the Stingray? Now this is a vehicle which is lighting up the sales charts. It's one of the quickest selling cars in the market today. Uh, people are just buying them off the trailer. But now we've got, uh oh, the convertible. Now let's talk about what this means to the Stingray line. Well, what it means is that you still get the over 1G of handling. You still get the 50-50 weight balance. In fact, the only thing they had to do different between the hardtop version and this convertible is remount the seat belts and put the mechanism in for the trunk. If you find that you're not drawing enough attention in your Corvette Stingray convertible, well, you might as well just take the top down. And that's where this vehicle really, for my money, shines. Because now you're looking at a vehicle that uh, doesn't lose anything by being a convertible. So many other sports cars, you end up with cowl shake. You end up feeling that, well, I take the top off, I loosen the string, there's a compromise. Not in this car. And I've driven quite a few convertible sports cars in my time. This is a good one. And lastly, why go to the bother? Why go to the bother of racing? Why go to the bother of having vehicles like this available for the street? It's all about engineering. It's about pushing technology. It's about finding new ways to make a car perform better, last longer, and deliver on that Chevrolet promise, which is always to say, you're gonna get more than you expect. In the case of these three vehicles, you're really gonna get more performance than you probably deserve.